Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Microsoft Craft and in this video we are going to talk about the script that we have used in our group video. So this is the exact script which we have used and let me explain you the step-by-step -step process which this script is doing and how you can use the same logic to create your own custom scripts. The first section itself is going to ask the user to enter their tenant name or their domain name. Now the purpose behind taking this input to query tenant specific endpoints. Likewise, in this particular script, we are using token endpoint because we are using client credential flow. Now when I say client credential flow, there is one thing more which is very obvious that you have to go ahead and manually grant the permission of group read write all to this particular application. Now this section will initiate an access token and let's say it fails for some reason then your script will end. But let's say you get the appropriate access token which can make all the changes that means the permissions are explicitly being already granted and consented by a specific admin then this particular section will get initiated. Now it's a very simple loop of if and else conditions that's all it has. Okay. Now there is a CSV file which I have also shown in that particular video and that is this particular CSV file. Now if you guys remember the post request that has to reach group endpoint to create a new group object it has a certain values or a certain template has to be followed. The first value is description. This is the display name. This is the false value for mail enabled groups. This is mail nickname. This is security enabled which has been set to true and these are all the owners. Now this structure is something which will by default not available when you will import CSV. So for that what I have done I have added header values so that we can easily query each and every row in this particular CSV. And that's the reason why we have for each loop. Okay. Now this section is actually going to create an object for one particular request which is then getting converted into a JSON object. Now the reason behind doing this because the post request that you will send to the group endpoint will always require this particular parameter which is content type application forward slash JSON. Now this is something which is by design and you have to include this. Okay. Now once a group is created at the same time I'm querying the object ID of that particular group because the next step is to add the respective owner. Now how to get the object ID of the owner in the CSV itself the UPN of the owner is present so what I'll do is I'll send one more query to the user endpoint and get the object ID of the owner. I will save it in this particular variable which is object ID of the owner that will be used in this particular structure. If you guys remember this is how we were adding members. The same process is applicable for owners as well. Instead of members I am mentioning owners that means I am querying the related object which is owner. And that's all this is the last request which will be sent to the respective endpoint and the respective owner for this particular group will be added. So I have updated this Excel sheet. Let's again read on this particular script and let's see what happens. Okay. So this is my PowerShell. I'm in that respective folder where this script exists and now I'm going to initiate this particular script. And as you can see it is saying now enter your tenant name this particular section the moment I will type conceptswork.com, everything will fall in place. And as you can see, now it is querying the object ID of the group owner. This is the object ID, adding order. Next group is getting created and the same process will go on. So this was all about knowing how this script is working. When I will post this in the community section, it will be more organized. I will add some more comments so that it will be easy for you to relate. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.